Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're going to be building a vehicle in Besiege, a racer of some sort, either a dragster or a stock car, Indy car, or maybe even just a drifter, something that we can have fun with and try to make it work the best and fastest we can. So I wanted to go ahead and first show you some engines that I want to put in these vehicles and how they work or why they work. So, <clears throat> so sorry, the first thing I want to show you is that or explain is that this wheel here is running at one time speed, meaning it is at the normal level that this wheel will actually travel. This wheel is at maximum, which is two times speed. And then this whole setup here, all of these are at two times speed so that we can get the maximum speed out, output. But because these are at two, um, essentially these should run as fast as this. But the way these work is as gears. So this one moves into this one, this one comes this way, and they actually interlink in creating um, a exponential force. And it almost looks like a transmission because these are traveling at one speed while these are traveling at double the speed of this one. And then this is double the speed of this one, double speed, and double the speed. And it doesn't have to start out here and you i mean whenever you start the engine it is already at max speed this is already producing the maximum amount of speed and you'll notice by me just turning it on you can see it goes straight into the full speed now one thing i wanted to show you is that the speed that this is creating versus what this is creating is 20 times the speed and this is at least 10 times this speed or probably 12 times because you have all of these connected together to create speed on this specific wheel. Now there is another way we can do this because the way this design is set up is that you would have your um, a pillar coming out this way and this is where your steering would be and this is actually you would have a set of this on each side of this of the center beam and that would create your speed going forward well what if we want to create a engine that is faced like this and we want the wheels to be on the side well that's what i created over here and that's what we're going to go ahead and uh, work on making as well this one's a little more complex because you do have to have support for it because these gears are kind of weird in the way they work. I don't know if I was to put one of these wheels here. I, I don't think it worked to where they would create the force. Anyway, you'll see that this again is faster than this and this. But this is probably faster because of the fact that it is direct to the wheel where this is geared up or geared down um, so let's just go ahead and show that you'll also see that it took a little bit more time to get to it also the gear isn't always hitting so the speed isn't always being transferred to the wheel um, as good as it can so if we're going to do something that requires a lot of spin we probably want to go with this. If we want something that requires a lot of torque, we probably want to go with this. And this is something that you'd probably use for a dragster. I don't know. You can see that there's definitely a different speed that's happening on both of these wheels. And it's bending outward because of the way the gears are working. Where this, you can definitely see it's going much faster, even though it has the same amount of these gears anyway guys i wanted to go ahead and show you the engines that i'm going to try to work with see what we can do with them and i will be back with our first creation
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go over the vehicles that we made, starting with the last one that we created. And what this is, is essentially a working fully independent suspension on the front and back with the ability for each section, the front being one section and the back being another section, to rotate 90 degrees, meaning that if this wall was tall enough and I was able to ride it far enough, I would be able to get this to be on the top or on lane on this wheel here. And that is just because of the fact that we have the suspension that we have, we have the ball bearings or the whatever you want to call these, the ball joints that allow this to twist just a little bit don't want it to be too much but it, what it's there for is to stabilize this this section so this is nice and flat on the ground while that is up in the air at some crazy angle and just to give you an idea just a cross section this is the back at an even angle and then you have this at whatever angle it's at, like 45 degrees or maybe more. Anyway, that's kind of what this whole vehicle's purpose was, is just to see if I could do it. And I did, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. So let's go ahead and go on to the next vehicle that I made, or the previous vehicle that I made. And it is this little guy, this little guy is pretty much he ended up being a drifter something that would pretty well let you control it but it is very easily out of control at the same time and that really is the problem with it is that it is really hard to control it even whenever you have control of it um, meaning that um, in a normal drift car or other drift cars that I made, you have complete and utter control of where you're going, even when you're in full drift. So, like this, it has a nice arc, and that's what you want in a drift car is a nice arc. But you don't want to be always out of control. As you can see here, I'm just transferring from one out of control session to another and that's not what you want so it's a little uh, toy of a vehicle I guess you would say there was one other vehicle that I made um, that wasn't recorded and it was this vehicle this is a much bigger drift car and we'll just go ahead and take a look at it as you'll see the front wheels are powered so that they can um, have control over the big engine in the back of this thing it is one massive engine with just steering capabilities and so it is able to drift and control itself rather well of course i don't know if i'll make it around this okay i will um there we go and then we're already controlling back the other way anyway this is probably the best vehicle that I've made so far just because it controls the way that I want it to. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the vehicle that I had in the picture of um, the last video that I had Besiege content in, which is this little guy. And what he does is he has this turning that turns two ways at the same time it twists uh, so that the wheel is raised up into the uh, up or down and it also turns left and right at the same time so you're always getting a nice evenly controlled turn and it, it ended up working pretty well uh, I need to do some more tweaks on it would like to just get it to be a cycle where it only has two wheels but we'll see we we'll have to play with it still and of course you can never go wrong with a cannon cannon and a uh, a little spike so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you have a great day a great night a great weekend it's so close tomorrow is the day oh okay so anyway guys thank you again this is cypher deck Peace out.